flying along the Milky Way. Hey there, stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regis, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. This week will be your guides to the galaxy. Yep, we're going to show you the Milky Way, something I hardly ever get to see in Florida. How many times have you seen the Milky Way, Dean? Ha, ah, the only Milky Way I see in Cincinnati is uh, filled with chocolate and nougat. For me, light pollution is a big problem. City lights illuminate signs, parking lots, buildings. And also the night sky. The more light that we shine up, the less light the stars shine down. Even though it's invisible from cities, James and I can share a sneaky tip to find the Milky Way in your sky. Let's show you. Okay, let's pretend it's 10 o'clock at night and we're far from city lights. Man, it's dark out here. I know, and look at all the summer stars you can see. So many stars that you can't even count them all. You can also see a band of faint light stretching from the northeast, up overhead, and down to the southwest. This is the Milky Way. When you look at the Milky Way, you're observing billions, billions and billions, billions of stars. Most of the stars in our galaxy are stretched out in a band all around us. With us in the middle. There are so many stars in our line of sight that they appear as milky clouds. Most ancient cultures were just as fascinated with the Milky Way as they were with any planet or constellation. You can definitely see why. Out in the country, it dominates the sky. Some bright and famous constellations can be found along this galactic river, such as Cassiopeia the Queen, Cygnus the Swan, and Scorpius the Scorpion. Cassiopeia is one of the most recognizable constellations. In the summer evenings, she sits on her throne in the northeastern sky. What? You mean those stars that look like the letter W, that's a queen? Use your imagination, Dean. Well, that picture certainly helps, but uh, I guess I'm imagination challenged. In that case, picture this W shape of stars as Cassiopeia's crown sparkling with five stellar jewels. Okay, now that I can see. Now kick back and look high in the sky. Almost straight overhead, you'll see three very bright stars marking the Summer Triangle. The Summer Triangle is not an official constellation. It's really three constellations, Lyra the Harp, Cygnus the Swan, and Aquila the Eagle. Let's focus on Cygnus since it's probably the easiest to identify because of its cross-like shape. In fact, it's also called the Northern Cross. Cygnus's brightest star is Deneb, which marks the tail of the swan. Cygnus is located in an extremely rich part of the Milky Way, so imagine it flying along the great river in the sky. Near Deneb, the Milky Way branches into two channels, leaving a dark region in the middle. This is called the Cygnus Rift, or the Northern Coal Sack. Now face south. Here the Milky Way threads between two zodiacal constellations, Scorpius and Sagittarius. Scorpius the scorpion is easy to spot with its bright red star for a heart and its curved tail and stinger stars. The stars in Sagittarius resemble more of a teapot than a centaur wielding a bow and arrow. When you look between Scorpius and Sagittarius, you're peering into the center of our galaxy. In that direction are billions and billions of stars. And at the very center of those is a supermassive black hole. X-ray satellites have captured amazing activity around this region called Sagittarius A. Of course, you can't see the Milky Way if you're a city-bound stargazer. Let's show you the difference between a rural sky and a light-polluted sky. Yikes, what a difference. Even though the Milky Way has disappeared, we still have three constellations clearly visible to guide us. Cassiopeia in the northeast, Cygnus high overhead, and Scorpius low in the south. And that's where the Milky Way is, even if you can't see it. Once you identify Cassiopeia, Cygnus, or Scorpius, scan these regions of the sky with binoculars. With just a little magnification, a wealth of stars will be revealed to you. So start counting those billions, billions and billions, billions of stars tonight as you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.